Hello, gourd just Get it? Because you're, you're, it's a gourd. It's like a pumpkin. Anyway, today we're going to be painting a Persephone pumpkin from Lore Olympus. I recently did this Hades pumpkin and posted it on the Lore Olympus fan page and people really liked it. They wanted to see a Persephone one. So I said, you know what, my dude? Why not? Before we get started, be sure to subscribe because I put out new videos every single week and it helps me a whole bunch. Now, let's get to the action. So I swear I used to have like a mixer easel thing, but I couldn't find it. So we're just gonna use this pink plate that's left over from my birthday party. The hardest thing in my opinion, when you are mixing stuff for these pumpkins is getting the right skin color. So we're gonna try to get a nice Persephone pink going. So this is like super light pink and definitely not what we were going for, but I don't have like a fuchsia moment. So we're gonna go with this. I'm gonna add like a slight bit of purple to here and see if we can get it a little more Persephone pink. You know what I mean? See how that goes on. Um, you know, that's actually not bad. Why don't I actually hate that? Okay, sis, there's like a tiny little dent here in the pumpkin that I can't cover up. So, you know, Persephone is gonna have just a little bit of cystic acne and honestly makes her relatable. So now that we've got the base coat down, I always like to do two coats just to really get that clear color. As you can see, like you only see the very solid color. So that's what I'm going to do here for good old purse. So now things might get a little dicey, my dudes, because we have to do her hair, and she has, like, a darker hair than her skin color, so I'm going to try to do, like, maybe a purpley for her hair, even though that's not super, you know, canon, but we're just going to see what happens, because the face I picked out is kind of just where you only see one of her eyes and her hair swooping over the other one, because I think it would be a super, like, mysterious, cute uh, foil to Hades, like, surprised look, so let's see how this goes. Oh, hey, so it turns out you shouldn't mix red and purple, because it turns into actual diarrhea. Let's try something else. Okay, round two, I just mixed more red with white and we're gonna hope that it's just like a darker pink. Um, okay, that turned out really freaking well. All right, sis, we love surprises. The perils of YouTube, I'm getting on the ground to get perfect symmetry for her eyeball because it needs to be like a perfect circle and even next to her hair flop. Why am I out of breath from just bending down? Okay, I'm gonna let the face dry before I paint the white eye, so back break. Okay, so now we are adding on the fine details. We've got the eyebrow. We're going to do an upper eyelash line here and a lower one because unlike Hades, she has um, a little bit of mascara, a little more detail to her eye. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. The hardest part for me is always waiting for things to dry so I can add um, deeper elements. So right now we've got the mouth and the nose and I've got the pupil drawn. I want to make it a little darker and I'm going to wait a little bit for the white and black to dry just a touch before I add her um, pink iris. Oh, hey, hi. So see how I messed up the iris there? I'm just going to take black over it to fix it. That's it, you guys. Oh my gosh, we did it. Look at her. Oh my gosh, why is she so freaking cute? Ah, and then we have Hades over there. Just <laughs> this position they're in right now is perfect. He's just gawking at her and she's just shocked because she's like, I'm in love with you. Ah, guys, I'm so proud. That took forever. It took much longer than I thought it would, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you have any other spooky ideas for me or just craft things you want to see related to Lore Olympus or just Lore Olympus stuff in general, please let me know. And if you did like it, be sure to subscribe because I put out new videos every single week and it helps me a whole bunch. Subscribe.